Hello YouTube, Raul here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Redux Toolkit to personalize or to prepare the payload before it reaches the reducer. So let me show you what I mean by that. We're back with the application we built before and if you missed it, the link to the whole playlist will be in the description below. When we add a book to our book list, so I write something here and when I click add book we dispatch an action and here if we use the Redux dev tools we can check the payload and we have a title, an author, a rating and an ID which are dispatched from this add book component right here but what if we want to actually change something in the payload before it reaches the reducer. We can do that really easily in Redux Toolkit. So we have the book slice right here. I'm gonna comment the add book reducer here and we're gonna do it a little bit different. So we're gonna do add book again, but this time we, we are gonna give it an object, not directly it's not going to be directly a function like this this object is going to have two keys one is going to be the reducer key which will receive the this function right here so we will have the state and the action as an arrow function and then in this arrow function we're just gonna do the same thing we did in the reducer before but next, there is another key that, that we can add to this object, which is the prepare key. Okay, so in this, I forgot the comma here. So in this prepare key, we can get the value. And this value is gonna be the payload that we dispatched before. So the payload that we have right here. Now from this prepare function, we have to return an object which must have a payload key. If you want to change this, so you don't want your values to be in the payload key of the action, you could change this, but the, the common usage is to just return this, this object with the payload key. And inside this payload key, we're gonna spread the value so the previous payload that we we had before and then here we can add whatever we, we want so for example we could add a date key that is let's just set it to a new date so we can see the date that this uh, this item was created okay let's refresh and see if that works so i'm just gonna type something here and then I'm gonna add it to the list. Now let's look at the action. And you can see here in this action, we have the date field. So that works really nice. But as an addition to this, we could also move this ID assignment from our add book component because we don't actually do, do anything to manually assign an ID. The title, the author and the rating are all three taken from the input fields but the id is generated by this nano id function so we can remove it from here also we can remove the import and if we go back to the book slice then we're gonna import nano id from nano id and then here we can set the id to be nano id Okay, now let's see if that also worked. And we go to the action and here in the action we have our unique ID for the book. Okay, so that works. Now we don't have to worry about having some unnecessary information inside our component. This way we can or uh, add redundant or not uh, redundant but values that are not related to our component 
we can add them inside this prepare functions. Great. So this was it for this video. It was a short one, but in the next video of the series, we're gonna do a little bit more uh, on Redux Toolkit and we're gonna learn how to handle actions that were created inside other slices or by, for example, using create action. So if you wanna be notified when the video comes out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.